Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 5th of July. I had taken a break in between, but hopefully I'll be doing it continuously in the coming days. So let's get started with the analysis and what the data has to say about this rally that is going on. So first we look at the global market. So actually I have chosen Bitcoin. So what happens is once the global liquidity starts to ebb, that is come down, usually what happens the riskier assets they start correcting first so first it will start with the uh, cryptocurrency and then it will uh, spill over to the equity market so as of now you can clearly see on the charts that the bitcoin has made a double top and it has gone below its neckline as well it has broken below the neckline right and also it has kind of closed below or let's say for this week hardly two more days are left for this week if it kind of ends below the 30 wma line that would also be quite bearish so the target for this would be something like 40000 from where the rally started towards the 72000 so that can happen looking at how this week is going to end in case if it goes above 61000 and closes there then this uh, ch chart pattern will not be valid and we might still continue to move up but that looks doubtful as of now chances are it will close around the same level or even go lower so let's see probably because uh, the crypto market is open 24 7 right so this weekly chart would be made on a sunday now coming to fi di activity the fis have been continuously buying in the cash market but the uh, FNO market right so in the futures and options it is not that convincing it is kind of around the same levels not really adding too many longs neither too many shots so they are still around the same levels let's see they that is the reason the, even the nifty is kind of moving in a range since the last few days now coming to the large cap analysis so in large cap analysis what I have done since I look at the top 100 names for large caps right instead of looking at nifty 50 chart I am looking at the nifty 100 chart that would kind of give us more clarity as to the data that we are seeing for the large cap so this continues to move higher after kind of breaking out of this uh, parallel channel retesting it and then it is continuously moving higher so even if you look at so this is a new addition that I have done so I am looking at the momentum for these stocks as well so the momentum here is very strong but one more thing here is see this momentum usually around that 80 90 mark right it is when the momentum kind of tops out and the index also kind of makes a top so the momentum is kind of telling us that historically this is where it has kind of made a top especially the large caps all right so for large caps the momentum is very good but looking at how it has behaved in the past only during the uh, december month there about that is when it kind of go, went all the way up to 100 but uh, after that right it has never really gone to those levels it usually makes a top around the 80 90 mark now coming to the accumulation not really that great i would say for the last few days that i've been talking about even the FIs, although they are kind of buying, but I think mostly the buying is coming into HDFC or wherever the rebalancing is happening. Because of that, they are just holding the market as of now. Let's see uh, this cash buying, right? We can't be really sure where exactly it is happening. But looking at the FNO market, they are kind of holding it at the current levels, neither shorting, neither taking long positions. So now coming to the mid cap analysis so in mid cap what i've done since i look at almost 400 names that is uh, in the top 500 almost 400 names so nifty 500 would make more sense here so even there it is continuously moving up it is like a one-way rally that is happening and we are almost making a new high every single day right so now looking at the momentum so if you look at the momentum for uh, mid, mid caps right so around the same levels even the mid caps kind of make a top right so this momentum around 250 is where the mid caps have usually made a top after which the momentum has cooled so when momentum cools usually the stocks also correct 
so looking at this looks like it's almost near a top for the mid caps as well and looking at the mid cap accumulation it continues to be around that average level neither becoming really strong nor going down too much so it remains average as of now but the point to worry here is the momentum which is kind of getting overheated for most of the names right so the momentum is not really rsi that is i am looking at it is something else which i kind of uh, look for to understand how many stocks are really moving higher and what exactly is the market breadth right now coming to small cap analysis small caps we, we are not going to look at a chart here why because below 500 names is where the most of the small caps are so if we look at small cap 100 index so there is that so how sebi does this categorization is top 100 belongs to large caps 101 to 300 that is the top 101 to 300 is mid caps and then 300 onwards is all small caps right so we can't do that analysis because those are not the stocks that we are looking for in our data either so here it has become extremely the momentum is like so strong that it has gone through the roof so previously where it used to make a top let's say around that 350 to 400 mark it has it is now reaching to 450 so what it is telling us is that the momentum is very strong you have seen how the stocks are just going up 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 but the data is not that great so what does that tell us so if the data is not that great that means no fresh money from the big guys is coming in so this <coughs> excuse me so this rally that is kind of continuing is mostly by the operators who are kind of pushing it higher and also the retail who are in a frenzy right now and buying everything so looking at these especially when we combine the momentum which is kind of making a top or let's say it has even crossed the top where it usually kind of slows down and also the data is not really that convincing like what we saw around let's say 4th 5th of june after which this rally has started the data has kind of cooled off quite significantly from those levels that we saw near the june 4 5 6 thereabout right now coming to the distribution data so the distribution is let's say average or above average so most of the stocks uh, in the small and mid caps are seeing like let's say not really a lot of them but let's say above average stocks are seeing distribution the big guys are kind of taking money off the table but still why they are moving is because the operator continues to push it higher because there is this event that is the budget that is coming up and a lot of people are extremely bullish on the budget going into the budget uh, if there is any negative for the market right the market would correct significantly looking at how the rally has been especially the psu stocks have been moving up in just one direction the valuation looks extremely expensive in case there is not not uh, that great a budget and uh, nothing really for the market or a negative for the market the market will definitely find uh, an excuse to correct or a reason to correct so this is my analysis for the coming week and also going into the budget let's see how the market moves up right so in the coming week i would not be surprised if the momentum continues another week also because that is what uh, attracts a lot of people and the FOMO kind of kicks in people buy whatever at whatever price it is available at make trying to make a quick buck so be cautious and play where the accumulation is strong you should make uh, decent money in the in the run-up to the budget thank you